Hey, let's not focus on the negatives. Okay, let's focus on the positives. Breaking out so bad. <laughs> and it's because sugar. I have introduced sugar into my diet again at a colossal rate. Clearly it is biting back. Still going to Amsterdam and Italy in May with Allie. I've had networking calls, one with Vivian's cousin and then another person that Vivian's cousin connected me with. And then this upcoming week, I'll have a networking call with the VP of Vivian's cousin's company that she works for. So that's really exciting. It leads to something I'm learning about um, marketing agencies and ad agencies and how that's kind of where you start out if you want to get into marketing. I think the decision on where I'll be or end up is probably going to be in Dallas, which is so ironic and so funny. It's a great place for when you're first starting out. I think there's a lot of opportunity there. It's just very funny. Very, very funny. Zach asked me when my next video would be. So this one's for you. Today I'm just trying to get some papers edited. I'm gonna go on a little hike with Clara and going to the gym together and it's been so fun. We've been waking up at the crack ass of dawn. It makes me wake up at like 7 a.m. on the weekends now. <laughs> She called me out for it last night because we were watching a movie and, and she was like, why do you text me at seven in the morning? Like, why are you up at seven in the morning on the weekend? I have been going on dates, but I think that I'm done with that. I'm not ready and that's okay to admit. And I'm fine with that. There was one guy where I was really glad that I went because I think it showed me like, okay, this is how you're supposed to feel on a date. Like you're supposed to want to hang out with this person more. Like I remember texting my family about some of like the gentlemanly things that he did and they were like, that's the bare minimum. <laughs> really eye-opening. Like, wow, no one has done this for me before. That's normal. So we we're supposed to go out on a second date. And then last night, actually, right after our date on Wednesday, he was like, can I cook for you on Saturday and you can come over and you know, we can do all these things, like go roller skating or whatever. And I was like, yeah, that sounds great. Like that was so exciting. And I was looking forward to like being in and not having to like get dressed up and go out and stuff like that. Part of the ingredient was not thawed. And so he was like, we're gonna have to go out. And I was like, would you be totally upset if we rain checked? Because I don't wanna go out. Like there's no part of me that wants to go out. So weird, like that was not the only person that asked me if I was going out. There were three other people, two of them being men, asking me if I was going out last night, which I thought was so weird. And maybe it was like a sign that it was like, okay, you should be going out, but I didn't because I didn't want to. Probably means nothing, but it was just very weird because I had never had that happen. I'm usually the, the one where it's like, do you want to go out? Like, let's go out. Like, let's do this. You know, super nice guy. I just don't, I'm not ready and I don't want to do that to someone because that's horrible and awful of me. He also owns a house here. I actually talked about this on the first date. He said he was from Dallas and wants to end up in Dallas. He owns a home here, so I don't know how that would work. And how long would it be? I don't know. I, I know I'm overthinking this, but going to start going to classes at my new gym. I'm also so glad I switched over. I was very hesitant because of the whole situations, but I am so glad I did. There are so many more opportunities for like classes. It's a much bigger gym. It's a much nicer gym. I have a gym buddy now, which is the one thing that I wanted so bad. So I'm really glad that I switched gyms and I'm going to start going to uh, their Pilates and then their yoga classes. Yay! On my phone a lot, like my screen time is at seven hours right now which is insane I'm going to go on a hike today work and then i told myself that i could buy myself paint supplies so i'm gonna go buy paint supplies um and then thread for cross stitching because i want red thread and i've not gotten it yet and i've already put together like some ideas for what i want to paint so i'm excited and then i'm gonna focus on like making an effort to read more and put my phone down more i'm still okay with like <laughs> watching movies or you know watching tv shows or whatever like right now i'm watching i'm trying to get through the bear um and bridgerton one thing i have been really excited about is the fact that like i am enjoying this time by myself always down to hang out with my girls i'm always down to like go you know five six houses down and see clara and the claires and lily and everyone and hang out like it, which is so funny because I feel like I have so much fun with them so sweet and such good people and it's just funny like the difference in thoughts in different scenarios that sounds really dumb <laughs> sounds really dumb it does but it's true I think I'm just really enjoying time by myself being able to be selfish and you know getting more into my work growing my relationships with my co-workers and the people around me and just excited to see where everything takes me where I end up reminding myself that I'm so young. Like, I just turned 22. I have so much time and life ahead of me. That's so cheesy, but I'm going to, 
I'm gonna edit papers now um, so that I'm ready to go on the hike in a little bit. I hope everyone has a great month, year, day, week, hour, I don't know. I hope everything is great for you guys and I miss you guys a lot. Oh, and one last thing. So I wrote a letter to my kids um, and I, I do this from time to time, file with like letters written to my kids. I was writing at work and it made me cry and it was kind of embarrassing, but it was just like so solid in my thinking in the sense that like I may be going through like somewhat of a tough time here and there. Like not every day is perfect, not every day is great because I'm not great and perfect every day. Like, there's still that certainty. I will be happy. The kids that I'm writing to will have a father that I'm so glad I waited for, you know? And I'm like, I'm so sure that that person will be there. And they're like, there's not a doubt in my mind. Like everything happens for a reason. I'm so grateful. I'll forever be grateful. Everything has happens for a reason. You just have to be excited for what's to come. There is something coming and that what you want in life will not just be ignored, you know what I mean? And I'm not saying like, don't work hard because it's coming. I'm just saying, you gotta have the confidence and the certainty that it will be there. Now that's like extra cheesy and I really need to edit these papers, so I'm gonna go.